Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition, breaking news, red alert, red alert, more violence in Canada in the ongoing strife pitting the Rizzuto mob against the Hells Angels, um, and then a number of proxy wars going on uh, around it. Uh, two, or I should say three acts of violence erupted in Quebec City over the weekend, targeting two Quebec City Hells Angel affiliates, not Hells Angels, full fully patched members, but guys that have been connected by the SQ and RCMP to the Hells Angels organization in Canada. Shout out to the Dirty News, the best true crime blog in Canada, as well as Le Journal de Quebec. They broke the story of these uh, three uh, acts of violence over the weekend. So, you know, they were on top of it for us. We're just kind of coloring it in. So everything started on Friday night uh, where the uh, house of a local cabinetry maker, social media personality, uh, Jean Noel LaCroix, who goes by the nickname Sardo. Uh, I guess he's got uh, commercials uh, on the air in Quebec City is kind of a somewhat high profile guy who has been tied to the Hells Angels and Hells Angel affiliates in the past. His house was shot up. And at the same time, Friday night that his house was shot up, uh, his armoire company, which has kind of trend, not kind of, it, it sells trendy cabinets to domestic, you know, people looking for domestic bliss in, in Quebec City and I guess has a high profile in doing that. Um, so his house is shot up and then his business, uh, his, his cabinet making business is the victim of a, of three actually separate arson attacks, three different cars in the parking lot of the uh, custom cabinetry making business, which is called something armoires there's like three letters armoires um this all happened friday night then on and i should say that sarto is according to the uh sq had very close connections to the quebec city hells angels main tax collector a guy again he wasn't a hells angel but he was a former biker kind of an independent strong arm that was getting all of the collection duties farmed out to him by the Quebec City Hells Angels. His name was Dooney Guerin. Um, Dooney Guerin was killed back in November of 2023. And the same couple days that his murder happened, uh, Sarto LaCroix had his uh, business shot up. So this was the second time that LaCroix has been a um, a victim of a drive-by shooting at his residence. This time, they also hit his business and torched three cars. Less than 24 hours later, uh, a, a guy by the name of Patrick Lorindo, who was convicted uh, back in the 2000s of uh, running cocaine with the Hells Angels in Quebec City. Again, not a member of the Hells Angels, but somebody who's affiliated. Uh, survived an assassination attempt uh, behind the wheel of his car on Saturday. He was sh shot. He was wounded, but he wasn't killed. Um, it it's of note that uh, Lorindo seems to have a lot of a lot of enemies at this point, more than just on the street. He was found guilty, I believe, last year of um, having a, a, a custom cool uh, installation business where he was conning people and scamming them out of hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. So there could be people like in that orbit that were seeking vengeance on him. But it being in, in such, uh, you know, in succession with the attack on LaCroix, they both having connections to the Quebec City Hells Angels. It makes you think this is all tied to the unrest be between the Hells Angels and Quebec City. The Blood Family Mafia, Ice Pick Trammell, um, who we all know went and uh, got the support of 
the Rizzuto mob in Montreal. And it's just been, you know, an all out, um, very chaotic underworld terrain in Quebec right now with the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto's kind of fighting multiple wars on multiple fronts with each other or through proxies. Um, so, you know, we'll keep you updated uh, with what we hear out of Quebec City, but two attacks on Hells Angel affiliates. Um, nobody killed, but uh, a house shot up. Uh, Patrick Lorndo was targeted for assassination and survived it. And then uh, LaCroix's business and three cars at that business, uh, victims of an arson attack. So we'll keep you updated. That's what's going on in the great white north right now it's never ending um i keep saying this is like biblical because it's been going on so long i mean this part of it's only been going on for about 20 months but the, the underworld in general uh in in canada or at least on the eastern side of canada has been caving in now for 15 years and you have a a body count in the hundreds so We'll keep reporting on it because it's it's so historically significant and it seems like a lot of people are interested in it. So check back in uh, every week here at the OG pod and we'll be giving you uh, news on what's going on in the war in Canada. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, spread the word about OG pod. We're going to be giving you this you know type of breaking news and um, you know filling in all the gaps in terms of knowledge with the day-to-day machinations of the underworld in north america and then check out the patreon members only where we do a little bit more uh deep dives a little more analysis um a little bit more kind of nerdy nook and cranny stuff um please check it out i think we're, we're, we're doing a good job of having one complement the other but always news going up on uh going out in canada uh it is the wild west scott bernstein og pod